and we come to a very important uh, concept of Buddhism. It's called the Four Noble Truths. What are the four? This is almost like the foundation, the teaching of Buddhism. First, this, this you heard often, suffering. And in, in Pali is Dukkha, because of suffering, the cessation of suffering and the path to freedom. Now, usually, Buddhists uh, be criticized by saying that it's so pessimistic, always talking about suffering. But we should understand that this, this word suffering here could not really represent the word dukkha. Not only that it means suffering, but it also means in the state of unsatisfaction. You can say that it's not stable, or you could even say that it's changing all the time. So the word dukkha, this, there's no, no one word to, to really represent dukkha while using suffering, because suffering is just like suffering, you suffer. But why, why suffer is that because of the cause of suffering. And if you want to, uh, uh, you need to practice. You need to practice. So it's number four, and then until you stop, there's no more suffering. The moment that we come to the world, we are already destined to death, right? The physical body has to pass away. And then, uh, we were just saying that, you know, the, and an infant that is born, the moment that he's coming into contact with the world, he cries. He cried because he's so happy to come to the world? Or is it because uh, like he was staying in the womb, was so warm and comfortable, and all of a sudden coming out, and then have to contact with the world? So, but, and of course we know about aging. When we get old, what happens? So see, no, there's no way to avoid, and uh, well, the early actually, the early is the better, to, to learn something that you think that is reserved, uh, worth it to do. So that, that's the, the suffering. So if we want to avoid that, we just have is okay. We don't have, it's all right. But if we, we, we build the, the, this, this, this habit of life very much, and we couldn't get it, that's the time when we suffer. So in that sense, it seems like Buddhism is very pessimistic. It's not in the sense that uh, you are so pessimistic that you look at things always in a uh, uh, negative side. But it is more of how to practice so you are free, you are under touch.